In today's study of misnomers in the Torah, we're going to look at the chamsa. For those unfamiliar, chamsa is a, usually a piece of jewelry that we find today nowadays that has uh, five upside down fingers, sometimes they're five upright fingers, uh, chamsa meaning five in, in Arabic, and, uh, and usually uh, it could have, let's say, three uh, fingers um, you know, straight up in the middle and then like a thumb and a pinky sticking out, all different types of chamsas. Now, right away we know that a chamsa can't be Jewish in nature because Jews don't use symbols um, like this, they consider them idolatrous. So right off the bat, no matter what we find in history and archaeology, we're going to know that if we find chamsa among Jews, let's say we find a, an old chamsa amulet in, uh, in some old Jewish grave, we know that that Jew is probably an idolater. Uh, not that that means that it was a legitimate Jewish practice. In fact, chamsas come from, from primitive uh, idolaters in Mesopotamia and different areas around North Africa and the Middle East. It is not a Jewish sign, and therefore, I would suggest that uh, unless you want to wear idolatrous symbols, um, which I don't think is really permitted in Judaism, that one does not wear chamsa. Uh, I think that it is uh, it comes from idolatry. It's an idolatrous uh, symbol, and it's an idolatrous you know, piece of jewelry that you're wearing. It definitely does not bring luck or protection because that's really an idolatrous concept that is completely inconsistent with the rest of Judaism, which believes that our success doesn't stem from amulets or, or uh, superstition, but rather from a relationship with God. Okay, that's today's misnomers in the Torah. Shalom.